info. Today I'll be showing you how to make a new project database using the file server. First, you need to make sure the file server service is installed when you install PVCS. You can find that in the admin application. You go to start, all programs, Serena, version manager, version manager server admin. You should make sure the Windows NT service is installed for the server and this is for the file server, so this would be on the server all the clients are connecting to. When it says it's started and installed, you'll go ahead and hit OK. Open PVCS, then you'll go to Admin, File Servers. You would click the Add icon, and you would put in the host name of the server, or you can put in localhost. Once you've done that, hit Test. You should get that message. Hit OK. Then you would go to File, or My Projects, Create Project Database. Give it a name. Give it a location. So, for a location, you can either put it on any drive you want, but you want to put it in a folder and then make a new folder with the actual database location. As you can see, there's multiple project databases here in their own folders. So you double click this folder that we just made, hit OK. Work location, this can be anywhere. Usually, you want to do C temp. Under advanced, these options will leave as default, but you can use existing configuration files or access control databases. But we'll leave for default, hit OK. So you'll see here. We're actually using it locally here and not the file server. We need to set up a path map. To set up a path map for this project database, we'll go to a web browser and we will go to the Serena FS and then go to admin. Then you go to path maps, hit the plus icon, click enabled. So the client name is something that can't be changed easily. So make sure it's something not specific to the server. You can use a server name. However, if you ever move it off the server, it's always going to have this name unless you rebuild the project database, which is a lot of work. So I would suggest you do maybe just what the project is called. So now the project DB path is actually where it is locally on the server. So you would go to C PVCS. In my case, it would be in this location would copy this, put it there, and click Publish PDBs. So what this does is it actually network translates uh, slash slash new demo slash underscore PDB, and it goes to the file server and actually references this path locally. Then hit OK. Once you're there, should be good. Now go to File, Open Project Database, File Servers, Path Map View. You should see the path map here. It's our project we just made. You'll see that it's now open to the file server. There's no files in it. But now, any other clients would actually, as long as they're connected to the file server, they would go to File, Open Project Database. And as long as they're on the network and can access the server, they should be able to go to Path Map View and see the project database and open it and start working on it. That's how you create a project using the file server. Thanks.